What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be going over my least worn New Balances in my collection. Now in a lot of videos I make, I talk about my most worn shoes. It's my top five most worn New Balances of the summer, spring. Like what are my top five most worn New Balances in general? But I never give love to the ones that I don't really wear. So that's what today's video is all about. I'm gonna give you guys my top five least worn New Balances. Not to say that I don't love them, but these are the ones that just aren't currently in any rotation uh, for the time being. So let's get right into the video. So first up is this black 990 V5. I got this last year around springtime. And the reason I bought this was because I knew the V5 was about to leave off the website. And two, I was very hurt because it was my third attempt. I think it was my third attempt at the Baklavas and I missed them again and my whole world was just shattered. I was so mad. I'm pretty sure I said I was done buying shoes. I was gonna buy this shoe and this is my last shoe I was ever gonna buy and I was just gonna wear this and a gray V5 every single day for the rest of my life. That obviously did not happen, but I kinda just bought that to make up for missing out on that Action Bronson sneaker, which I eventually got. But I'm not mad that I have this sneaker, I just won't wear it as much as I wear like a gray pair. Who knows, maybe I'll pull this out and wear it for a couple months, uh, I guess we'll just have to see. Next up is a green and red 574. Now, I really don't wear non-made models. Not Like, I just, I love the 990 and I love the made models. So, like, a 574 might not get enough wear from me. Now, it's very hard to wear a green and red sneaker, which I came to the conclusion of once I bought this. Don't get me wrong, this sneaker looks great and I love the 574, but green and red... It's a very hard color to wear unless you're wearing all black. And in the summer, I'm not wearing all black, even though I'm wearing a black shirt right now. Pretend I didn't say that. This is a good looking sneaker. I bought this my first day of school for my senior year of high school, so I had to get fitted up for this. So that's really what this shoe was all for. I don't know, it's a great looking sneaker. It's just, it probably won't get that much wear. Maybe someday, like I said, with the black one, I'll wear it more, but I don't know how much more I'll wear this sneaker, but Maybe someday around the holidays, during Christmas time, this red and green sneaker will come in clutch. Next up is this blue and navy 990v3. Now, I kind of forgot that I had this sneaker because it's more on like the bottom shelves of my collection. This 990 is absolutely beautiful and I don't know why this is not one of my number one worn sneakers. This sneaker is amazing. The 990v3 is one of my favorite silhouettes. That's, that's probably three on the list I'd go. V4, V6, V3, V5 on my list. That's the top four. But I really do love the silhouette and I love the colors on this. And this sneaker is very special to me because one day I was just shopping for New Balances. This is before I was really into them. I had like a, a V5, I had two V5s and then the two 574s and I think I had my 993. And I wasn't really that huge into sneakers yet. Like, I just wasn't collecting them. So I went on the New Balance, found these. The first Teddy Santis shoe I found, figured out who Teddy Santis was, and then I was sold. So I bought this sneaker, and I got extremely back into New Balance because of this. I saw the colors that they were offering. I saw what Teddy Santis was doing. So I was all in on New Balance again. So this shoe kind of brought me back into the New Balance culture because I was wearing like Adidas Yeezys for a little bit. And as soon as I found this, I threw those out the window and New Balance became my number one option once again. So this sneaker, uh, I'm going to move higher up on my shelves so I can actually see it and wear it. It's a great sneaker. It matches with everything. This is one of my most comfortable 990 V3s. I don't know why. It just it feels really good on my foot. So yeah, this is a great like winter shoe in my opinion. That like blue and navy, like a fall winter shoe. So once those seasons come around, this will get a lot of wear, and I'm very excited about it. Teddy Santa season one, arguably one of the best seasons, um, in my opinion. It's it's up there. I love the V3, and yeah, how can you go wrong with the sneaker this this simple and beautiful? Another sneaker that has not get worn a lot in my collection is another Teddy Santa's V3. I don't have any beef with the V3. I don't know why there's two on this list, but there is, so just bear with me. Now, the reason I don't wear this sneaker is because I think there's a defect in it. So I bought this around Christmas time, I think in 2022 maybe. New Balance, for whatever reason, put on a bunch of Teddy Santis season ones that didn't get sold out 
they were on the website so you could go grab a few pairs i really like this colorway i think this is one, a, one of the best colorways from season one so i obviously bought it the moonbeam love the v3 i love this neutral cream colorway but for whatever reason the right shoe feels like it's turning in and like all the stitching and stuff is shifted over it just it's it feels really weird on my feet i've tried to wear it a few times i just can't get it to work so it's actually very upsetting and i don't really know what to do with the sneaker i'm obviously going to keep it it's it's a great neutral color and it'd be perfect for summer so which is sad but i mean what are you going to do i am not a fan of this hairy suede and smooth suede i feel like if you're going to go hairy suede make it all hairy instead of making it smooth and hairy so that's kind of a flaw in the sneaker but we'll put it put it in the past and then another sneaker that i don't wear that often is this 990 v6 now i got this around the same time i got my 991 v2 so it makes sense that this one got shelved pretty quickly because that 991 v2 when i got that it's like i only had one pair of shoes and it was that so this one didn't get that much wear now I absolutely love this sneaker. I love this color. Green and yellow is one of my favorite color combinations. It just looks great, and it's a V6 as well. Just for whatever reason, it's almost impossible for me to match anything to this sneaker. I don't know why. I'm sure if I really tried, I could. I'm honestly kind of upset with myself that I don't wear this that often. This is a great sneaker, and it looks good on foot. This bright, this is a spring shoe for sure. It just, it's a V6. This is one that fits the best because I got a half size down. So this is a nine and a half instead of a 10. So this fits amazing on my foot. I love the way it looks on foot. It's just it never makes it out because I mean, I have so many shoes that I love that I would rather wear over this sneaker. I really do love this sneaker and I'm upset with myself. Like I said, this sneaker, you know what? I'm making my mission to wear this sneaker more uh, so you can put that on me. It is a V6, so obviously it's comfortable. So that's not a reason why I wouldn't wear it, but we'll see. Those are my sneakers that I don't really wear that often and I'm kind of upset myself after making this video because I do have so many great shoes that I choose not to wear because I mean right now I have no ex I mean I have an excuse because I'm wear testing the, the rose waters right now but these sneakers should get worn more often and I, I don't really like selling my sneakers off I'm not wearing them I'm gonna sell it because this is a collection for me so I love to keep my collection and have the memories of the shoes that I have uh, but who knows, maybe someday I'll, I'll start getting rid of some pairs, but for the time being, I'm keeping the ones I have. And I'm going to start rotating the ones I don't wear that often. I'm going to have like a week, um, a week rotation as soon as this wear test is over. I'm going to have a week rotation, so like I'll pick seven shoes out and then I'll wear those shoes for seven days. And kind of just, that way every shoe gets worn. It's not that I hate these shoes at all, I love them. It's just they don't fit into my everyday wear because I love my action Bronson shoes. I love my collabs. I love my 991 V2s. So it's hard to wear some of these sneakers. And when you have as many shoes as I do, it's hard for them to get some wear. So that's all I have to say today. Um, let me know what you guys think about my, my collection. And if you have any shoes you don't wear and you would like to wear. Uh, or why you don't wear some of the shoes you have. So that's all I got today. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you have a great day.